Hi everyone, this is Sammy, and today I'm going to give you the crochet version of the one hour knitted booties. And these will be about 45 minutes from start to finish to make a pair of these crochet versions. So let's get started. I'm working with a 6mm crochet hook and worsted weight yarn, and I've chained 30. Single crochet in the second stitch from the hook and each stitch all the way across the chain. So single crochet in each stitch across the chain. Okay, I single crocheted in every stitch across the chain. At the end of the row, chain one and turn. Don't work into the first stitch because this chain one is going to take the place of the first stitch. Single crochet in each stitch across the row, working only in the back side of the stitch. So in the back side of the stitch, single crochet and do that all the way across the row. Okay, I worked in every stitch across the row, working in the back side of the stitch only. At the end of the row, chain one and turn, working across the row, single crochet, and working in the back side of the stitch only, all the way across the row. Okay, I have worked a total of seven rows. of working in the back side of the stitch only. And now I'm going to decrease on each side and finish the front of the booty. So I'm going to chain one and turn. And I'm going to slip stitch in the first six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And I slip stitched in the back side of the stitch for the slip stitches as well. I'm going to single crochet in the next 15 stitches. One, two. Okay, those are the slip stitches. My 15 single crochet, and I'm leaving these last stitches unworked. Chain one and turn, single crochet in each stitch across the row, still working only in the back side of the stitch. And after this row, I'm just going to continue to do the same thing. I'm going to chain one and turn, single crochet in each stitch across the row, working back and forth only in this section. Okay, I have finished that work. Now this is going to fold over like this. Thread the yarn end into a yarn needle and weave it through that last row of stitches. Pull tightly to close up the end of the booty and take a couple of stitches here to secure it. Now continue to sew up all the front of the booty. Okay, I sewed up all the front of the booty, and I'm going to weave the yarn end back and forth into the finished work. And I'm going to sew the back end of the booty. Okay, I have sewn up the back of the booty, and I threaded two strands of yarn into a yarn needle, and I'm going to pass it through a row of stitches at the ankle. Like that. Tie a knot in the ends of the yarn. Turn that off. Tie a knot approximately in the same location on the other one. Trim that off. Okay, and that's what that looks like. To make the flower, I just made a chain of 22 stitches. Fasten off. Thread the yarn end into a needle. Roll from the other end. Just form it into a roll. Pass the needle all the way across, right through all the layers. Move over about a half an inch through all the layers again. And just do that several times. 
Now you can tie the yarn ends into a square knot and sew the flower on top of the booties. Like that. There you go. There's the knitted version and this is the crochet version. Not much difference. They actually look quite a bit alike. And I'll put the link below this video so that you can access the knitted version if you'd like. So thanks for watching. If you like this video, please click like and share it on your social media sites. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.